Hello, it is August 27th, 2008. I am one that is. And this is 2005 LEGO Transformers Jeep. Or Earth Mode Dyke. D-I-K-E. I made him in 2005, but gave him the name and characteristics this month. I'll probably change the name to something better suited for Decepticon. Yeah. Like most of my creations, they either look like some sort of alien Cybertron vehicle, or in this case, I succeeded and made an Earth Mode type thing. Besides from looking a, like a really, really weird dune buggy, he could also look like one of those compacts. I don't know, but... What steps in away from cars is that wheels are popping out, not like any jeep has this type of thing. And he has guns on the side. Use your imagination. Um, well, in this feature, he is very well sized with his counterpart, Solar Stream. But Solar Stream is a, you know, aircraft and it's bigger, but you'll get to the size comparison later. In this mode he can actually carry two little minifigs in the front seat, just squish them together. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Neat. He does roll well. His um, wheels lift him off the ground pretty good. That's one thing to consider while making one a car Lego Transformer. Anyways, put these guys away. In um, an attempt to make him look like something he's better, I made him have color schemes. They're not as great, they're wild and wacky, whatever. I gave him character traits of the Decepticon. He's a liar, a smooth talker. Grief bringer with a smile. He can also have the ability to lock picker and as a password breaker and a demobilizer. So, evil Decepticon Dyke. Some schematics I made out of him. I hope you can all see that. So, if you make one yourselves, you do it better than I did with better parts under him where those parts go. Some head. Uh, head schemes that I tried. Well, anyways, back to Dyke here. Dyke. Maybe that great that name will grow on me. Anyways, first you go under him. These are little clips horizontal clips, you just take them away from these horizontal bars and flip them up again by stud friction. These are the arms They're clipped under here by this blue piece. Unhinge them, bring them forward and out. I made a hinge here by uh, having them in a rotary pivot provided by pins like these and those you can see it here yeah you can see it good hinge hinge on the other side too you can see his head just spin it around to face forward And then down here it could get a little bit tricky. It would be move this up, kind of gently pivot it up from its original hinge again. These hinges are made from this kind of piece, as you can see, and this kind of piece and then have flaps open this way open out 
both legs. You can see them in here. That's the foot, the sole. These are made from those 90 degree vertical one bricks. And these are these are made from this kind of hinge. You just move them across from each other. Again. Down. Yes, this does leave a huge gap inside his shins. But yeah, I can't ever escape that. He's 2005. I don't know how I ever would fix that. Anyways, the doors. The doors will fold down again by stud friction and flop aside to the wheel, behind the wheel. And again, here. There's a pelvis joint that joins the top half with the bottom half. And it will just click up. There. Yeah, these joints are really bad. They're really loose. So anyways, by more stud friction, flops down. Yeah. Should have done that before. And there. Anyways, and there you have it. Decepticon Dyke. Sure, he doesn't look like much, but hey, if you can make him and have the better parts to make him, I want to see it. He's okay. He does look like a car transformer with wheels. And I also made him a glorified picture. Yeah. I didn't quite finish him because I thought the color schemes were atrocious. So atrocious I have no color sense at all. He has a yellow visor. That's the hood on his shoulders. Big Decepticon symbol. These empty folded legs. Yeah. Hopefully he won't be a challenge to make if I explain, explained him good enough and show him that he could be well in a deluxe size I'll get solar stream out for a second Doo -doo -doo. transform him really fast Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, he's the same size almost. But overall, you could make him. He looks okay in his robot mode and his jeep mode is fine. There's no aesthetically bad things about him. His transformation is smooth, doesn't collide with anything else. Now with something that Hasbro made, I probably have some things that I took from them, like the folding out side car bits, the underarm pieces where they hidden behind the back. His back isn't that bad, I mean, there's not much to look at, and that's a good thing because then you don't have to criticize, he has a very flat back and very natural. Overall, Cybershark is uh, another deluxe. And he almost towers above him. He has two guns and I made his picture have a hand. But, yeah. I hope you guys can make him, make him with better parts and better pieces. And hopefully, if I get to see it, I'll be so proud. Well, I am one that is, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully. <laughs>